Hi everyone and welcome to the Mach 5 Boeing 737 training series. My name is Daryl and today we're going to be looking at how to set up for an ILS approach. Check out the link in the description to download the Boeing 737 flight sim checklist that I'm using today as well as the Mach 5 Boeing 737 flight sim guide. On the Mach 5 channel you can find all my video tutorials, guides, gameplay and other reference material. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're going to be going through an approach preparation here. Uh, this would normally be conducted uh, during the cruise phase of the flight when the workload is fairly low uh, prior to commencing your top of descent. I'm kind of on uh, giving myself uh, vectors uh, out here. But uh, anyways, we'll carry on. The uh, first thing we'll do is grab an ATIS. I've grabbed the ATIS. We're going to use the ILS for runway uh, 04 right in uh, Detroit today. And also uh, the winds are calm nice clear day as well i'm going to then push the recall button verify that all these systems are uh, are st still normal if there was any sort of malfunction this master caution light would stay illuminated and this panel would tell me uh, where to look uh, in conjunction with uh, this one as well We'll set the uh, approach push button on the ISFD because we are doing an ILS. We're going to set an auto brake setting of, I'm going to use three today. And then we're going to be heading down to our FMS. Uh, for the setup on the FMS, basically the pattern uh, that I use is I use knit ref, then I come across to depart arrive then legs, and then I go to descent, then progress, then I do my nav rate, then I, uh, I move on from the FMS. So first thing in the init ref page, we're going to use, I'm planning flaps 30. So I'll put flaps 30, that gives us a view ref of uh, 148 knots. I'm going to go to the depart arrive page, arriving in Detroit. ILS 04 right and I can put uh, uh, radar uh, vectors uh, I'm going to plan to do radar vectors for this approach so I don't necessarily need to have uh, any sort of a transition but uh, I can put uh, cats in there uh, anyways better to have more points than less so I'll just uh, Next thing we're going to do is go to the legs page and uh, verify that the route is in there, that it looks correct uh, in comparison with our approach chart. Uh, main thing we're checking there is just altitude restrictions and uh, that everything looks reasonable. Missed approach is uh, heading 036 degrees to 1050 feet and then direct to Lupe at uh, 4000 feet. Uh, that all looks reasonable, so I'll execute that. Then descent page. If we were up at uh, up at altitude, I would put in um, speeds, uh, wind speed and direction at various altitudes, and that you just put in the altitude. You put in uh, whatever the wind direction, 150 at uh, say 20 knots, for example, and you could do the same for 20,000 and 30,000, uh, depending on what you wanted. Same as well if you wanted to use uh, anti-ice, uh, if you're planning to use anti-ice in descent, you might put, you know, if you if you were planning the tops of the clouds are at uh, 10,000 feet and you're expecting to break out around 5,000, you could put that in there. I guess maybe it's not uh, something, a function that's usable uh, on this, uh, this FMS. And as well, you could also put ISA uh, deviation. Uh, right now, today it's zero, and you can put the QNH. Today it is, uh, so I'll put all that in. Put zero and two nine decimal nine two. Execute that. I should. Uh, you should understand too that all of this information is basically optional. You don't have to put all that in. Uh, the wind speeds are very good for assisting with the FMS's descent planning, and uh, it'll help you plan a better descent. Basically, go into the prod page here. If you were doing some sort of like a GPS approach, uh, you could uh, set the RNP, uh, the 
lateral and vertical RMP as required for that type of approach. But today we're doing an ILS, so I don't really need to uh, do anything like that. I'm just going to turn us a little bit here so we don't get too, too far away from where we're going. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is head down to my nav radios. I'm going to set the ILS frequency of uh, 110.7. There's 110.7. And I'll also do it on the, uh, the right side as well. Both sides, 110.7. One, I'll turn us in a little closer to the uh, to the approach. All right, and uh, then the final place I go after the nav radios I go up and I set the courses the course for this approach is 036 degrees I took off on that runway so I already have that set and we're going to set approach uh, minimums as well approach minimums on this is we're going to be using the cat one uh, minimums uh, 840 feet for a decision altitude so I got that in barrel, and maybe I don't. There, now I have it in barrel, and I'm going to spin this up to looking for 840. There, 840 feet on the uh, barometric altimeter is my minimums. And I'm also going to Okay, I'm over here on the first officer's side now, and I'm going to uh, set 840 feet on that side as well. That's all completed. And if we look down at our nav display right now, you can see it is a little bit of a, uh, of a mess there because I didn't sequence any of the waypoints in the FMS so I'll head down to the legs page and uh, just um, basically for for an ILS uh, if you're planning on just getting radar vectors typically what I'll just do is extend off the uh, final approach fix uh, which is Itali so we'll grab Itali we'll put it in the L1 and we will execute that. Let's have a look at our oh, put it in the right one. Make sure you're on page one when you go to select it. So page one, there's a tally, and what I'm going to do is extend the center line. So I'll put the inbound course of 036 degrees in there, execute it, and that extends the center line off of Itali. That's just for uh, basically situational awareness. I'll reduce the scale on my nav display here. And we're basically all uh, set up for uh, radar vectors. for the ILS for 04 right in Detroit.